God, praise Him for His mighty acts. Praise Him for His glorious grandeur. Praise Him with the trumpet blast. Praise Him with the bluetooth lyre. Praise Him with the drums and bands. Praise Him on the strings and pipe gas. Welcome to Thought for the Day from Avon Valley Churches. My name is Canon Sue Wallace. Alleluia. We hear it a lot in Christian circles, except maybe during Lent. And we heard it in Psalm 150, which I played just now. Hallel, praise. Yah, God. Praise Yah, praise God. That's basically what hallelujah means. Is it an instruction? Is it a command? Is it an act of praise in itself? Really, it's all of these. In this second day of thy kingdom come, the time of prayer between Ascension and Pentecost, many people are thinking about praise. Psalm 150 has a lot of praise in it. Lots of commands to praise God with whatever instruments you have to hand. Harp, lyre, lute, drums. Many psalms have references to all of creation praising God. The stars praising God by flaming and burning bright. The trees praising God by dancing in the breeze and flapping their leaves. Sometimes they look or sound like they're giving applause. As it says in Isaiah, the trees of the field shall clap their hands. And in Christian worship, there is lots of praise. Christians often tell God how brilliant God is. What sort of God needs this is often the response from those who are new to the Christian faith or non-believers. But we don't praise God because God needs it. We do it because we need it. When we praise God, we put ourselves in perspective and we tell the stories of God's great acts to remind us of the wonder of God's plan and our place in it. We acknowledge that God is the source and origin of everything, even the breath we're taking right now. Without God, there is nothing and without God, we are dry as dust as dry as the dry bones in a valley in the vision from the prophet Ezekiel. Bones which, when the spirit entered them, rose, were clothed in flesh and became a great army. Even in the darkest hours, even in a sadness and the gloom of grief and lockdown, we believe in the light. We praise God. We sometimes sing cold and broken hallelujahs like in the song by Richard Cohen um, in the song by Leonard Cohen but perhaps perhaps our broken hallelujahs are the most powerful of all because they speak so sacrificially and profoundly of faith and hope. Cohen's song also reminds us 
and even though it all went wrong i'll stand here right before the lord of song with nothing nothing on my tongue but hallelujah and so from the perspective of this light and hope we pray for others let us pray faithful god help me to understand myself so that even in the most difficult times i may know your presence with me and may sing your praises defiantly praising your goodness even when there's so much that is wrong and today help me show others the good things i receive in christ and show the world his way we ask in jesus holy name amen I will finish with time when we thirsty people simply wait upon God as the thirsty disciples did in the upper room before the first Pentecost. And let's ask God to be refilled again with his precious Holy Spirit. Amen.